Ok folks, this is the big night vision test. We've got four scopes here tonight. On the left we have the Hick Cheetah 32mm. Next to that we've got the Pulsar Digix C50. Next to that we have the Pard DS3550. And finally we have the Hick Alpex. The time is now 9... 9 minutes past 9. And it's quite obvious that the Alpex, the Digix and the Cheetah are all still giving us a perfectly usable colour image, but the Pard is clearly struggling with the uh, amount of ambient light there is at the moment. So we shall carry on. Uh, we might, I might stop the recording just now, wait till it gets a bit darker and then start up again. We're also going to be testing some illuminators tonight. Um, we have the new Ludicrous Lumens Light IR Illuminator with three different pills, a 940 nanometer pill and two different 850 nanometer pills with different levels of uh, filters and diffusers fitted to them. We also have a small um, laser based uh, IR uh, light from Custom Hunting which we're going to try as well. Obviously we have the HIC LED based illuminator fitted to the scope. We have the PARD IR illuminator which is part of the scope and the Cheetah also has its own onboard LED based IR illuminator. So we'll try all of those and you can see or hopefully you'll be able to see the differences if there are any between all the different illuminators and the images that the scopes produce with those illuminators. See, we've got some sheep in the foreground here, um, and there are some rabbits in that piece of ground over there. I think you can just about see one there, right in the, right next to the crosshairs of the digix, and just to the right of the ranging. I'll put the ranging on the cheetah. Ninety-one meters. barely sees it. The hick sees it pretty easily. Again you can see it just above the crosshair. Interestingly, the cheetah at the moment, I would the cheetah and the alpex at the moment have the most the brightest image. The digix is still showing in colour, but it's starting to get a bit grainy. You're starting to get a little bit of grain in the image. Um, still perfectly usable. The part is really struggling now. We'll keep going with... Uh, you can see rabbits running around. And we'll see, obviously see a lot more rabbits once we go into full night vision mode. There are a lot of sheep here. The farmer... and there's some cows as well. The farmer has about 5,000 ewes and they're just about to start lambing. So as you can imagine, he's keeping them kind of all together just now and, be, and once they start the lamb he'll take them up into different fields where there's more, there's more food for them. If you've seen any of our earlier videos you'll know that these are the wind turbines off of Aberdeen. Uh, these are a few miles away from here. But again, the, the, the colour ability of these scopes at this time of night is unbelievable. The grass is green and the sea is blue. 
and it's well after, it's an hour after sunset. It is clear tonight, there's no moon, um, so you know, it's going to take a while for it to get really dark. But I, I continue to be astonished by how late after sunset these scopes, particularly the cheetahs, the, the alpex and the digex, can produce a usable colour image when to the naked eye it just does, it's just everything's grey. range to that bush over there. It's 160 meters. The fence line that gate is 94 meters. That rabbit in the distance is 123. a colour image but it is noticeably more noisy than either of the hicks. The hick, the hick colour image is still really good and in fact I'd have to say that I think that's going out of focus I'd have to say the cheetah is by some margin clearest, sharpest in these conditions. Might go down and look at these sheep and look how sharp the image of the sheep are. They are as sharp as the digits, but there's not the same colour level there. The part is pretty much dark. The alpex is nice and bright, but it doesn't quite have the sharpness of the of the cheetah. So, you know, the, the cheetah's doing better than I expected it would do. So we'll see, we'll see how things go as things get darker. The cheetah obviously has a smaller lens, um, a wider field of view. Uh, if I want to put the edge of the field of view of the cheetah on that left hand gate post, I'd be counting along the other side of the gate plus one, two, three, four. Five, six fence posts. If I do that with the digex, I'm seeing the whole width of the gate plus one, two, three, four and a half gate posts with the part that's a waste of time. With the alpex, I see all the gate plus one, two, three and a half. So the, the, the cheetah has got a much wider field of view uh, than the other two. Um, and I think I'm probably going to have to put this this um, part into night vision mode. Okay, that's a part of the night vision mode now. No IR, but in night vision mode. So we're in black and white image. Um, and you can see... It's obviously, well, we now have an image, we can now see the sheep in black and white. The field of view is narrow though. If I put the left hand edge of the field of view on that left hand gate post, then we're seeing the whole gate plus uh, one, almost two, two other posts. It's much narrower field of view, much higher magnification. The image is not bad though. I mean, at least it's, we're not, we're not using any IR at the moment on any of these scopes. So, although the path kind of produce a color image, to match the others, it can produce a black and white image that's perfectly usable. The digex is getting kind of dark now. I'm going to put the digex into uh, day mode. Okay, 
converted Digix in black and white mode. difference in the black and white mode image between uh, yeah the digix is, is less noisy it's obviously the noise the image is the image is less noisy than the pard um, but obviously the pard has more magnification the alpex is still giving us a reasonable colour image and, and the cheetah just amazes me I have to say I'm really taken with the cheetah's colour image this way on at night. Um, it's it's terrific. It's still more than usable. We don't have a red colour, put a red colour. So that focusing very clearly. That's probably as good as it's going to get. So, the cheetah is still going strong, giving us a reasonably good colour image. When, with the naked eye, when I look down into the area where the scopes are looking, it's just basically a black hole, I can't see anything. I'm loath to switch on any IR until the cheetah has given up with colour. <laughs> The rabbits are hard to see. There's no doubt about that. There are some down there, and we'll see them once we switch on the IR. You can only see them when they move around. <coughs> well, let's see what we get with the. Cheetah in black and white mode. 